So here's a video um, of another new feature on, um, it's going to be in Home Remote version 2.1. This was a request from a user that didn't seem too hard to implement, so I've uh, decided to do it and it should open up a lot of new possibilities. So I've got a couple of Raspberry Pis um, active in the house and you can get um, something to run on them called WebIO Pi. It allows you to trigger the um, pins on the Pi based on, on a web interface or a script. So see here I can click pin 4 in and out and that would obviously control. You can also set voltage on them as well. So you can control hardware via the Pi. Um, using the Pi is essentially the smart element for dumb hardware if you choose to. There's loads of stuff you could do with that. So because of the authentication required, Home Remote didn't support that. But you'll see down here I've now got um, GPIO for in and for out. So if we go and edit those, you'll see we, the format is um, HTTP, then the IP address, then the port, then GPIO, then the pin, then function in. And if we go to the extra data, you have a username and password. So I'm just using the default here. It's WebIO Pi colon Raspberry. And before it always used to have to be JSON. Now we can use a, a username colon password format. So I've done that for um, the pin in and I've also done it for the pin out. Everything's the same except it says function out instead. So if we pull down our today screen and you need to watch here just where the mouse is, where it says GPIO4, I'm going to press um, GPIO4 out and then it changes. So that is actually affecting the Raspberry Pi and um, this web page that you can see in the background is updating that in real time. So if we do in as well, so that's all good. Um, another thing just to show off the functionality again is I've put the voice recognition with a custom vocal command on. So I can also say home remote pin four out. And you'll now see it's updated to out. I can then say home remote pin four in. So there you go, you've now got voice commands for non-smart hardware hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. That'll be out in version 2.1 in about 15 days.